For example, welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. I am Sonam Hindu, a teacher of Mongshu Analysis. This is physics lesson for key stage 4, classes 9 and 10. So today, I am going to teach a lesson on the topic Pascal's law and its application. Well, before we start our lesson, let me briefly talk on the objectives of the lesson. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to state Pascal's law, explain the application of Pascal's law, explain the principle of hydraulic machine. So let us begin our lesson. For that, students, alligator, alligator. So let me ask you one question. Can you state what Pascal law is? Let me state what Pascal law is. Pascal's law states that the pressure exerted to a confined liquid is transmitted equally and undiminished in all the direction throughout the mass of the liquid. Now, to make you crystal clear what Pascal law is, first, let us look at this figure. So this figure shows a cylinder with a piston connected to a container containing a liquid. Now, in this figure, if you exert a pressure on one part of the liquid by means of the plunger, the pressure is passed equally throughout the liquid in the container, which results the water to spot out from the sand holes with the equal pressure. So from this experiment, we can conclude that this is known as Pascal's law. So this Pascal's law was actually discovered by a French scientist called Sir Bayes Pascal. Now, to make you understand better, let me demonstrate one activity. To explain you about this activity, you will cut a can or a plastic container which has four holes with same size at an equal depth. Now, using this container, if I pour a water in this container, the water will spot out from the four holes and the water which is coming out or spotting out from the four holes will be covering equal distance, which indicates that the water is forced out from four holes, which proves Pascal's law. I hope now you have understood what is Pascal's law. Now, let us learn about the applications of Pascal's law. For that, I will show you some figures. They are excavator, loader, dump truck, hydraulic brake system, and hydraulic jack. So all these machines are used to lift heavy weight and press hard the substances. We know that all these machines are used to lift heavy weight and to press hard the substances. Now let us watch a short video. So in this short video, you will see a hydraulic jack. In this video, we will learn about the working of hydraulic jack. We have a hydraulic jack chamber in which a large cylinder is placed. And the ram for large piston. 
and hydraulic fluid is filled in this chamber. There is a small piston in the small cylinder. Larger cylinder is connected to the smaller cylinder with the help of pipe. And this hydraulic fluid oil is also connected with the small cylinder with the help of pipe. There is a lever which is connected to the small piston. And two valves which are used for suction and discharging hydraulic fluid to the cylinders. Now we will see the working of hydraulic jack. What will happen when force is applied on the lever and to the small piston? When the small piston goes in the upward direction due to application of the force, this valve will be open and vacuum is created in the cylinder. When this valve is open, hydraulic fluid will be sucked by the piston in the cylinder and hydraulic fluid will reach in the small cylinder. Hence, the small cylinder is filled with the hydraulic fluid. So when we apply the force, the piston will move in the downward direction. And this will force the hydraulic fluid to the larger cylinder pipe and this valve will be opened. And this hydraulic fluid will be discharged into the cylinder and this will force the ram or large and piston to move in the upward direction. So, by applying a small force from the lever, we can lift the heavy load such as cars. So this is the principle behind our working of hydraulic jack. Now I have a question for you all. How does the mechanic easily lift the car with a hydraulic jack? Can you think? Okay, let us find it out. Now to understand better regarding the hydraulic machine, I have something for you. So can you see this? So here, let me demonstrate the principle of hydraulic meshing by using this syringe model. So you can see here, in this hydraulic meshing, I have used two different syringe connected by a tube which is filled with water. I repeat, in this activity, it consists of two different size of syringe connected by a tube which is filled with water. So when I apply less force on the smaller syringe, it exerts pressure on the confined liquid which will be transmitted to a bigger syringe. So due to this pressure, it will exert upward force. Let me demonstrate. Let me show you once. So you can see here, when I exert small or less force on this small syringe, the pressure will be transmitted to a confined liquid and then due to this pressure, it will exert upward force. So you have observed that when I exert pressure, a little force, on this small syringe, it will exert force to be lifting a heavy load upward. Let me show you once more. Okay. So when I exert a less force on a small syringe, can you just observe here? Look at this car. You can see the car is moving upward. So this is how hydraulic meshing works. And in this principle of hydraulic meshing, we apply Pascal's law. 
Now, additionally, I will elaborate more in detail about principle of hydraulic meshing. Let us look at this figure. So in this figure, it explains based on Pascal's law. As the Pascal's law says that when we exert a pressure in piston, so in this figure, the hydraulic machine is explained. The principle used in this diagram is based on the Pascal's law. According to the Pascal's law, we know that the pressure exerted on piston X is transmitted equally on piston Y. Now let us look at the construction of this hydraulic machine. Basically, it consists of two cylindrical vessel filled with liquid and connected by a tree. Two pistons X and Y are fitted to the vessels and the area of this piston are different. The area E1 of piston X is small than the area A2 of the piston Y. Now let us look at the working of this hydraulic machine. So if a force F1 is applied on the piston X, then the pressure exerted on the piston Px is transmitted throughout the liquid equally and thus an upward pressure that is Py acts on the piston Y with an area A2. By applying Pascal's law, mathematically we can write Py is equal to Px which is also equal to F1 over A1. Now you can see due to the pressure which is transmitted in the confined liquid, it exerts upward force that is on F2 that acts on the piston Y. Now you can write the equation for this hydraulic machine as F2 is equal to F1 over A1 times A2 or F2 over F1 equals to A2 over A1. So this is the final equation or final formula of hydraulic machine. You might be wondering how this car is lifted easily when you apply a less force on a small piston. Let me explain again with this working model. So as you can see in this working model, the syringe, which is small size, you can see the piston with the area of the uh, syringe smaller in size. And then you can see another syringe which is bigger in size. And then you can see the area of this piston which is bigger compared to smaller syringe. So as you can see, area that is A2 of this syringe is greater than area A1. Therefore, the force which is acting upward, we can name as F2, will be always greater than force which are applied on this smaller syringe. So now we can say F2 is greater than F1. So which says that now when you apply a smaller force, it exerts a pressure and after exerting the pressure in this confined liquid, it, due to the pressure, it exerts upward force. And we have observed that the upward force is amplified or you can say it is amplified into a bigger force. So here, the main idea of hydraulic meshing, it acts as a force multiplier. I repeat, the main principle of this hydraulic meshing, it acts as a force multiplier. So due to the multiplication of this force, it easily lifts a car when it exert a small or less force on a piston X and then which will be converting force on piston Y. Okay, now let me explain one application of Pascal's law. 
So that application of Pascal's law is known as hydraulic brake system. Now to learn about this hydraulic brake system, let us look at this figure. So in this figure, you can see that usually a disc brake is used in the front wheel of a car, while a drum brake is used in the back wheel of a car. Now, when when we apply the force or when we press on the brake pedal, the piston of the master cylinder applies pressure on the brake fluid. So, due to this, the pressure is transmitted uniformly to each cylinder at the wheel, which causes the piston at the wheel to press the brake shoe against the surface of the discs and the drum brakes. So due to this, it will develop a friction between the discs and drum brakes and brake shoe, which causes the vehicle to slow down and finally the vehicle will stop. In this example, you have seen that how Pascal law is applied. Therefore, in hydraulic brake system, we can understand that the principle used here is principle of hydraulic machine. And the law that we apply in this hydraulic brake system is known as Pascal's law. So this hydraulic brake system is one of the applications of Pascal's law. Well, now I believe that you have understood what I have delivered in my lesson. Therefore, to check your understanding on the lesson, I have set up question to be answered. The questions are, number one, state Pascal's law. Number two, explain the applications of Pascal's law. Number three, explain the principle of hydraulic machine. Let me read once more. The questions are, state Pascal's law, explain the applications of Pascal's law, explain the principle of hydraulic machine. Now, before I end up my lesson, let us recapitulate what we have learned. So in today's lesson, we have learned about Pascal's law, which says that when we exert a pressure in a confined liquid, it's transmitted equally and undiminished in all the direction throughout the mass of the liquid. In the second part of our lesson, we have learned about applications of Pascal's law. So in applications of Pascal's law, as I have given one example, that is hydraulic uh, brake system. So we have learned that in hydraulic brake system, the principle used here is hydraulic machine. And the law applied in this hydraulic brake system is Pascal's law. And then at the last part of our lesson, we have learned about hydraulic machine. How this hydraulic machine works and when we exert a pressure on a piston axe and then it transmitted the pressure in a confined liquid and finally due to that pressure it exert a what? force on piston Y. So that is about the principle of hydraulic machine, what we have learned. So now, with this, I have come to the end of my lesson. Last but not the least, thank you for listening to my lesson. And this is Sonam Lindu signing off. Thank you.